Hey guys, it's Ash here, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. This time around, we are very obviously doing another one of these room refurbish- room refurbishing? Does that make sense? Yeah, room refurbish. <laughs> uh, we are pretty much, you know, remodeling an entire uh, EA pre-built room. So pretty much the items that are in this build um, all come in with you know, I have to have the build items for this room uh, that originally came with it, and I have to have, to have to have the original wallpaper, lighting, blah blah blah, doors, blah blah blah. But I can add windows and more doors if I want. Um, I can add more lighting, and obviously I add more furniture um, and decorations and stuff. And I actually really enjoyed this. This was super cute and super fun. And this is called, uh, the pre-built room is called In Case of Company. So I really liked it. I think it was just straight up adorable and it was super fun to build and I really liked it. And yeah, um, again, I'm just, you know, going through everything and making sure everything like not making sure everything, but I am, you know, building stuff as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I really liked it and I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I I really enjoyed <laughs> this build a lot. And I just, I had so much fun. I, I have 100% so much fun when building these rooms there, it's kind of crazy and kind of stupid. Um, another thing with these builds is I cannot change the size of the room. Um, that's a mini goal for me now. Some of these things will eventually probably change. Um, we'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, this, this build is up on the gallery. It's, you, you can pretty much search up my EA origin ID, which is Ash Heart Games now, so that's cool. Um, I decided, you know, it probably is a lot more easier to look up, you know, my YouTube channel, from my YouTube channel to look up the builds from the game with my username from YouTube. That makes sense, right? I hope that makes sense. But, yeah, I've... I've been, I think I'm getting a head cold. I think I am. I'm not thinking I am. I'm pretty sure I'm getting a head cold, which sucks a lot because I love, like, it just, it sucks. <laughs> and I am not that great at, well, I am pretty good at taking care of myself and, you know, doing the things I need to do for, you know. The, not uh, for like myself and self care. It just every time I get a head cold, I will end up getting a horrible cough, and I will end up just super sick afterwards, and it won't be fun for anyone. And I'm just gonna be sick, and I'm gonna lose my voice, and that's the last thing I need to do right now. Like it is 100% the last thing I need to do right now because. Oh my god. Ugh. Because I'm literally... I gotta get ready for Japan. Next month is... What is this month? This is March. April is pretty much finals month. Or prep for finals. I gotta really focus on school for April. That's like school focus 100%. And then May is literally Japan day. Or Japan month. I'm literally just practically going to be out of town for that entire month and I need to pre-record so much for it. I haven't done it yet. I'm hope to this week is spring break, so I'm hoping I'll be able to, you know, get into that, I guess. Um and, you know, pre-build for it and blah da blah da blahs because I'm not going to be able to record videos while I'm in Japan. Even though I would love to, I'm not going to be able to. Um, I will probably be able to make vlogs, so I might do that and boot up the old vlogging channel again, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I need to brush up on Japanese too, ooh, I, I, I brushed up a little bit, it, oh my god, it was so awkward. There was one day I went, I was in photography class and 
the a few hours beforehand, I had the Japanese book. I have a Japanese mini Japanese textbook uh, open that I got from McKay's, which is a uh, pretty much a used bookstore, so you can actually find textbooks there. And I I had an old Japanese textbook, and I was sitting there reading it, and before class, and then my professor handed me something. And instead of saying, you know, the normal thank you, I was like, oh, domo, which is a small, like, thanks. It, it literally means, oh, thanks, for, uh, in Japanese. And, like, it, it's a very, very, like, don't, don't casually go up to people and say, oh, domo. That is, like, not even, <sighs> what you're supposed to say is domo arigato. Or domo arigato kudasai, or um, you know that stuff. Uh, but y domo is literally just like thanks, thanks. I, I said that to him, and I, I I'm now I was I'm sitting I'm sitting here and I'm like, this professor probably thinks I'm crazy. Like, he's probably- he, then again, he's also the professor that is, like, a gypsy, so he's probably traveled all across America, so he's probably used to people, like, speaking weird to him, but I did that in front of class, in front of everyone, and yeah, that- I just- yeah. Um, everyone now knows I'm- I can speak some Japanese, woo! Um- that not saying I, I'm a total weeaboo. I I took two years of Japanese language when I was in high school, so instead of the normal Spanish, it was Japanese for me. So that that's like the only reason how and why I like understand and know like the basics. And when I mean the basics, I mean the basics. Um. <laughs> of Japanese. Um, that and the fact that I'm going to Japan and I'd like to know the language a little bit. Ooh. But yeah, life life just, you know, life just happens and things just happen and yeah. I'm stuck here with being awkward. Then again, my professor literally that entire that class talked about the fact that he literally it's actually life goals now. Um, he packed his car up when he knew it was going to snow in the mountains. He packed his car up with like food and water and stuff. And he drove up to the top of the mountains and spent the night there. And it's the next morning. It was just like five inches of snow everywhere. And it was gorgeous apparently. And that's just like, you know, life goals now because that would be amazing. Um, but yeah. We've hit the screenshots. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And this is also on the gallery. Just look up my username, Ash Heart Games. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.